guys, Risqué here, and welcome back to Mafia. Um, so last we left off, we got accepted into the family, and now we're uh, going to people to get money from them. So yeah, it's just a good old time. And the police were on my ass there for a little bit, but I guess yeah, thankfully since I'm in the middle of a right plot, now. they ignored it. He's going, <laughs> Holly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, the guy ended up in a wheelchair. Damn, that sounds kind of harsh. Okay, Polly, come on, wrap it up. I could have gone in there and done this in like two seconds. Here he comes. He's a fast worker. Yeah, I don't know about that. Okay, where to? Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week with some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much blood? And yeah, nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. You want to come out with us again, Tom? Get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah. Seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kind of not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all? I'm not saying that, Sam. I... You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you ought to... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot? I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I could smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> when little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. Excuse me. Oh, this looks dangerous. I gotta say, though, this Jesus. is a pretty game. I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here, it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. The safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before Lost Heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far? Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Bill's Motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it too. Even Morello? To keep the peace? Sure. Plus it's far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. Fair enough. This motel really is out in the middle of nowhere, though. The streets and sidewalks. You not one for the great outdoors, Polly? He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee deep in shit, and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we got you now, Tom. You can do all the jobs that Polly hates. Well, happy to oblige. Yeah, I don't like being out in the middle of nowhere either. I can handle it better during the day, but I refuse to do it okay. at night. There it is. Finally. All right. We're here. Everybody out. Is here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. okay. Christ, Polly! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capish? And don't come back. 
but you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Sam. They're trying to beat information out of him. I gotta get you to a doctor. Ah, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on. Oh, this went south fast. Okay, um... I'm betting walking through the front door is probably not the best course of action. Can I climb up here? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So I can't really see inside. <laughs> I am like not breathing. Damn, no collectibles or anything? What about in here? Okay, y'all are lame. Y'all don't have anything cool in here. Oh. oh shit, oh shit. Okay, well, it was nice while it lasted. Where'd you go? You got whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. God damn it. Oh my God, okay, this is not going well. I can't see anything. <laughs> oh god, okay, this is bad. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm so dead. <laughs> okay. I mean, four episodes in, and we've already died. That's kind of sad. But okay, let's try that again. But yeah, I was saying earlier, this is a pretty game. Like, I'm amazed. Because when did it originally come out? Like, the 2000s, right? Okay. At least I know how to get in here. I just know I need to hide better. <laughs> that. Perfect. I just hope the poly doesn't bleed out. That's the only thing I'm scared of. Because, I mean, this is the 30s. It's not like... Oh, shit. You saw nothing. Wait. There. Oh! Over here. Hell, okay. Okay, that's fine. Show yourself. Whoop. I don't like the ones that run at me. <laughs> Freaks me out. That's why you get a ball shot, jackass. Oh god. Whoop. Come on, show yourself. Shit. I suck at aiming. <laughs> this is so bad. I saw you. Come on, I know you're not dead. Oh. Oh my god, just fucking die already. Oof. Okay, this is bad. Um... Does it all recover? Ooh, no, it does not. That's not good. Okay, um... Is there, like, a bathroom where I can heal myself? Just curious. 
Okay, there is a bathroom, but I cannot heal myself. Not cool, man. Not cool. Maybe there's something in this room. How are you just gonna let me get my shit rocked, but not let me heal myself? Dick move. Dick move. Oh god. Oh god! Oh, there we go. Shit. There we go. Whew. That was stressful. What? Uh, bring prosperity elect Robert Giolotti. A trusted figure in Lost Heaven, owner of boatyards and industry, employer to thousands, friend of the city, dutiful father and husband. Yeah, huh? Sure. Gotcha now! Oh. Shit. Could you just fuck off, please? Thank you. Wait. Oh. I see him now. Oh, shit! Okay, this is not good. <laughs> I, can I change the difficulty? Sam, they really went to work on you, buddy. Christ. Come on, you'd be all right. You're tough as nails. Oh, shit. Oh, he's got the money, Tom. Oh, catch the bastard. <laughs> Tom, don't make promises I can't keep. He's okay. Inside. Get the body. I'm going, damn. Did you call 911 yet? Alright, get back here, you asshole. Oh, gotcha. I don't want to shoot the random car. I mean, unless they're helping? I don't know. I don't want to target that car. Oh. Maybe they're not a good car. <laughs> Whoops. Get back here, you dick. Okay. Y'all need to move. Y'all are some hoes. Fuck off! God damn it! God damn it! God damn it! Oh, that's not good. Shit. Oh, come on. This car is so slow. Okay, well, at least you got stuck. That makes it a little better. Oh, God. Oh, no! No, 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 no! Oh, this is so bad. I'm trying, but this car is so slow. Well, at least I know what to expect now. Oh, shit! Okay, cool. Got close enough. Good deal. Back here, you dick. Oh my god. He drives like an ass. I don't appreciate it. Scare me, dude, because I forget your name. There we go. Yeah, they're a little too realistic on how these cars work. <laughs> I'm like, I know it's the 30s, but I want some like fast action cars here. What it meant to be on the inside. I should have took off there and then.
But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. Uh-oh. Hey, chapter complete. Hell yeah. Intermezzo. Oh, eight years later. So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner, what are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy, he scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. Uh-oh. Guess we're gonna find out more about him. Once this screen finishes loading. But yeah, how are you guys enjoying so far? Hear it. I'm loving it. I was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You're driving with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Dumb, Tom Morello, I didn't know it was you. Do you know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh. Sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 no sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. The grills look bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin, I got... <laughs> Hey, yikes. <laughs> well, now we know the kind of man we're dealing with here. Uh, someone spun your tail, pal. You got an informant right there says Marilla made a mint every time Crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Marilla left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. I don't square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Salieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh... Have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We're running booze, out for protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect, small time. But, I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Well, damn. I don't know what to expect. It's like there's different twists and turns at every corner. Fair play, 1932. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Mm -hmm. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. 
He graduates from the junkers to gal jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload, but not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find them. Morello's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. All right. Well, he's got it. On that note, we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share this with your friends, hit the bell so you don't miss an upload, and I'll see you guys next time.